Oh God, to remove the burdens and restore the old set capital street. Give hope to the hopeless. Help us all, Lord God, so that we can come into who we are in Christ. Live that victorious lifestyle that you gave your life that we might live. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church said, Amen. Amen. And just for a little while, let's take a look in um, Ephesians, the book of Ephesians, sixth chapter. Amen. And verse 12. Right now, I'm going to be giving you some scriptures. I'm just going to be giving you word today. And you will need to be writing. I told y'all at the beginning of the year when you come to church this year, you're going to have to have some books on the paper. And number one thing, you got to have your Bible. Because we're coming from the Bible, the Word of God. And you're going to have to have some books on paper so you can write down these scriptures. And write down these points when the Holy Ghost hits you. And uh, so you can so you can go home and at least read it and read, meditate it and study it. Because the devil gonna be after this word. Before you leave out the door today, he's gonna he gonna try to take it off your mind. But if you done wrote it down on some paper, you got it. Or either you get that CD from Moses back then. He'll, he'll get you a CD or pop it and listen to it sometime. And you'll be a bad man and woman of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, Ephesians 6 and 12. And the word says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. of the darkness of this age against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Amen. You ain't wrestling against flesh and blood what you're going through. Amen. But you're wrestling against doubts and demons, principality, evil spirits. Amen. Rules of darkness. Amen. But God wants you to know today that you have authority. Come on, give my hand up and pray. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, or neighbor, you have authority. Amen. You got authority over the devil, over Satan. You got authority over the evil spirit. You got the bond over devils and demons. You have authority. God wants you to know that today. He wants you to know that a lot of the depression you've been having, and so many of God people today, Satan is attacking with depression. Depression is an evil spirit. Satan is attacking with depression. People depressed. That's an evil spirit. Amen. Amen. Uh, anger, hatred, bitterness, all these things, they are evil spirits. Amen. Amen. Many times we get mad at our boss, our brothers and sisters, and we thinking that they are the ones who are causing us the trouble. But it's the evil spirit behind it. That's causing us to problem. Amen. Amen. But God letting us know today that we have the thought. In the book of Hosea 4 and 6, God said, My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Amen. Amen. But thank God today. Somebody say, Thank God for the word. 
and he's given us knowledge of his word and more than that he's given us the knowledge of who we are in Christ. Say we 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 some, we some tough people in Christ. Yeah, we might not be no match for the devil by ourselves, but glory be to God, we tough in Christ. How many of y'all know we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength? Amen. Glory be to God. See, that's what happened when we got born again. We got saved, we got born again, we came into the family of God. Amen. Yeah, we came into the kingdom of God. And when we accepted Christ, we inherited authority. We inherited, we got a great inheritance. Church, y'all got a great inheritance now. That y'all accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Things that you used to take off the devil, you ain't got to take no more. Amen. Yeah, because now you can use the name of Jesus. You have inherited the use of that name, the name of Jesus. Somebody says power in the name of Jesus. Many times you just don't use it enough. And then many times when we use the name of Jesus, many of us just use it as a cliche, just a saying. We don't say it in faith. You know, when we use that name of Jesus, when we, when we say, I rebuke you, say, when he comes in, when trouble in your way, when trouble in your way, and you say, I rebuke you, in the name of Jesus. When sickness in your way, and you say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. See, that shouldn't be a cliche, but that should be said in faith, with you saying and believing that the name of Jesus got power over sickness. That the name of Jesus got power over poverty, over death, over lack, over any kind of situation. The name of Jesus. Bob said, God has given Jesus a name above every name. And then at the name of Jesus, every knee has got to, it's got to bow down to. See, many times we just don't realize who we are in Christ. We looking at ourselves in the mirror as that individual, but no, if you born again, you looking at Jesus. You looking at Jesus because we become a member of His body. He is the head, and we are His body. First Corinthians twelve says His body made up of many members. Amen. And we one of those members. Amen. Glory to God. And I thank God for the authority that He's given us. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Let's look at in uh, Luke 10 and 19. Glory to God. Yeah, now some, I wrote down a few things here that, that the Holy Spirit dropped in my spirit. And one of them is I will battle with the devil should be always that we have authority over him. When I battle, when we going through the devil, and the devil then come in our home, in our finances, in our body, any kind of way that you've been trying to connect. Come listen to this truth of God. The scripture tells us in John 10 and 10, that Satan is a thief, right? And he come to do three things to the children of God. To, to do what? He want to give you a hard time. He want to make life tough on you. He, he want to make us a hard look like you can't make it. He 
want to put in some bank, you want to depress you, something make you look like you want to give up and quit and throw up your hand and say, Lord Jesus, I don't believe I can make it. He want to take your faith. He want to take your hope. He come to steal, kill, and destroy, but that's why we come to church. We come to get the word to hear what does say in the Lord. See, many people sit at home and they don't get the word and the devil eat their lunch. He mess with the mind because that's the way demons do. mess with your mind. Especially if they sit there looking at the wrong thing on TV, hearing the wrong thing, drinking the wrong thing, smoking the wrong thing. They're just giving a gateway to the devil. Amen? Yeah. But when we come get the word of God, we understand who we are in Christ. The scriptures say in John 10, 10 that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But somebody say, thank God for Jesus. Jesus say he come to give you what? In the Greek, that life means something. He talking about a good life. He ain't coming for you to have no restless nights, no sleeping at the night. For us to be sick and in pain and hurt, that's how the devil. Jesus come to give us healing. The scriptures say in Isaiah 53, we will bruise. Uh, what does it say? I, I, I'm trying to look at it. Well, I better get it. I don't look at it. Let's see what he say in Isaiah 53. Praise his name. Praise his name. I don't want to believe I'm here to say, Pastor Neil said the wrong thing. And then Sister Walter got me on video. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Yeah, he said in Isaiah 53 and 54, somebody said, talking about Jesus. He said, I say, no, I want you to know this. If he can keep you from Reading this Bible, Amen. he got you. Amen. You know, we just should never go to church without our Bible. Amen. 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 Because people tell you anything. Amen. 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 But you need to read the Bible for yourself. In mind. Amen. Amen. But, but, but God said, when Jesus was up on that cross, he said, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Our sins and diseases was up on him. Diabetes and high blood pressure, all these attacks on our bodies. See, we just got to rebuke that stuff. It's just like, Amen. Keep taking your medicine, but be rebuking it till you get your healing. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. And confessing that you healed. Confessing what this word says. Show that Jesus bore my sicknesses and carried my soul. Yeah, he said in, in verse 5, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, our sins. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes I was healed. Come on, somebody say I'm healed. By Jesus' stripes I'm healed. Come on, somebody say I don't care what it looked like. And I don't care what it feels like. But God said I'm here. And I believe I'm here. In Jesus' name. I got a thought over sickness and disease. Because I'm in Christ. And Christ got a thought. Come on, give me my hand clap and pray. Yeah, he, we got a thought in Jesus' name. Yeah. Now, he tells, he said, uh, in Luke 10 
and 19. Look at Luke 10 and 19. Luke 10 and 19. Y'all got these scriptures? He told us. He said, Jesus said, Now, behold, I give unto who? I will give unto you the authority. Now, my Bible says authority. Your Bible might say power, but in the Greek, that power meant authority. This new King James Version got it right. He said, I give unto you authority to trample on serpents, scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. Them scorpions and serpents talking about devils and demons. Them are enemies. That's talking about sickness and disease. That's talking about poverty, death, lack. Amen. Jesus said, I give unto you authority. See, he rose with all authority. But now, what he's done, he, somebody say he delegated. Now he delegated us authority. Amen. Amen. We have the same authority over devils and demons, over trouble, over sickness and disease as Jesus had. I bet it be hard for some of you to, to wrap your mind around. But you inherited it, that kind of authority, what, whether you use it or not. You got it. Somebody say, I got it. Yeah, you got it. It belongs to you. Many people waiting on Jesus. You know, Lord Jesus, get the devil off of me. Lord Jesus, do that. Jesus say you do it. I give unto you authority. Yeah, he gave you the power. You can do some things yourself. You can take authority yourself. Oh, Lord, we give too much play to the devil. See, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't tough enough. See, sometimes you got to get mad at the devil. I was reading a book by the lady. Say she was telling a little puppy she left the house getting ready to catch the bus. And she would tell the puppy, go back. Puppy standing coming. And she tell him, now you go back home. Step and kept on coming. Say, finally, she looked around the pump and said, I get it. He left. He took off. He said, That's what we got to talk to the devil. You got to tell that nigga, Get out of your marriage in Jesus' name. Because he'll destroy your marriage if you let him in there. Amen. Old folks say, You, you don't let the devil run. See, many times, if you let him ride, what's going to happen? You don't let him in. Yeah. Because number one thing, if he can come into marriage and get to get one man where they can go to bed, man, and then the other got so much pride, they say, well, I'm letting him stay, man. They go to bed, man. Yeah. Now you can give place to the devil. Yeah, wake up, man. Ain't speaking. Ain't talking. No romance. No devil. Hey, man, the devil just took over. But the all it took. All it took was one. No matter who, who won, all it takes is one to say I'm sorry. See, sometimes you have to do things for peace sake. For love. The Bible says love covers a multitude of faults. Amen. And then when the one wrong, if you say you wrong, and they wrong, they come back to the season. Holy Ghost will bring you back to them. Yeah. And they come back and tell you, I'm sorry, baby. We don't get no place for the devil. I say we do with families. You know, you start little and then he, but you have to 
you shut the door on that devil quick. You have to shut the door. Now see, we got that kind of power. We have that kind of power. Amen. Praise God. The scripture tells us that we need to meditate in Joshua 1 and 8. He said we need to meditate in this word. I'm going to say stay in that word. He said meditate in Joshua 1 and 8. He said meditate day and night. Day and night. And then do according to what it takes. He said and if you do that, you'll make your own way prosperous. And you have what? Be so, be so, but I say it a whole lot. 
being sober. God, at one time in my life, I wasn't sober. But somebody say, thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the word. I learned the truth. And the truth made me free. Come on, get going, man. Y'all get the shot right here. If you're smoking weed, or uh, meth, any kind of drugs, alcohol, any kind of drugs, you're giving play to the devil. You open up a door, you put the devil that you don't want to open. Because under the influence of alcohol and other drugs, you're tapping into another realm.
Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for 